Start by supporting your patient's arm at approximately 90 degrees of shoulder abduction. Apply a posterior glide directed towards the posterior aspect of the humeral head. Oscillate at about one per second for a period of 30 to 90 seconds. Here we are looking for a reduction in symptoms and improvements in range of movement. Progress this technique by further abducting and externally rotating the patient's shoulder. We can support the distal aspect of their arm underneath our thigh as we apply a posterior glide to the glenohumeral joint. Once again, we further abduct and externally rotate applying our PA glide to the humeral head. The intent is to progressively move the patient towards where they are most uncomfortable or where they're having difficulties such as reaching their hand behind their head, tying or brushing their hair. So we can then further progress the amount of abduction and then again repeating our mobilization in a posterior to anterior direction. It is important to regularly ask for feedback and ensure that the patient is comfortable during these mobilizations. If the patient's goal was to improve internal rotation or hand behind back position, then we position the patient in internal rotation and some abduction of the shoulder, and we apply our PA glide to the humeral head. We can then further progress this as symptoms decrease by placing the patient's hand behind their back and repeating the mobilization technique. As symptoms decrease, we can further increase the amount of range of movement achieved at the glenohumeral joint by reaching our patient's hand across the other side of their back. This will increase the amount of shoulder adduction, internal rotation, and some extension through the glenohumeral joint. Each set should be performed for between 30 to 90 seconds, monitoring patient symptoms throughout each set, and then reassessing in between each set.